So honestly, maybe it doesn't have to be the best setup ganking jungler. Uh, the Trundle though is gonna have to provide the damage in some of these for the for the Camille Nar matchup and for the Nautilus and the Yumi matchup. If they don't get kills, then they are going to fall behind. They are going to to lose out again in this game. FlyQuest, let's see if these are the changes necessary. Looking to try and make him his presence felt on top side. Killer got some heavy chunks onto Solo. Frozen domain under and a hop away from Solo to get under his turret. Yeah. Uh, attempts at ganks, fruitless. He's just now breaching low four up there and down in bot exhaust used onto Johnson. This is set up. We saw how early TSM in game one decided to go for it as well. And right now the answer from Maple to 3v3 yeah. in mid. Yeah, you know, the nice rest of here. Good charm into the rest. It's, the, it's not enough. Has the ultimate, the hook in onto Spika, who can just zoom right on away because he's on to a moment. But oh, the TSM. patience. Yeah, maybe trying to figure out exactly where the enemy oh. is. Cataclysm directly onto Philip's head. Answer with a Hextech ultimatum. Can he get enough hits onto Spika? But it isn't that first blood for TSM. Two games in a row. Beautiful patience there from Spika. He gets it, but can he live? He's got no mana. The pillar to knock back. Spika can't go anywhere. The answer with a kill. <laughs> Solo somewhat targeted. A wave coming through. Frozen domain slammed down. Solo knows that he's in a dangerous spot. Can't do nothing about it. After kill onto Spika, save themselves so much money. So, again, if we're looking at the minimap right now, it is it is Trundle on the Rift Herald while the rest of FlyQuest are moving up. So, TSM, no, they've got to pull this gank off fast. They're looking at the minimap and they're like, everybody's coming up the top lane. They flash here to finish off the kill. Uh, but even in doing so, are going to give back the Ooh. counter kill as well. Bringing Jose over and looking for the dive. This now, time. Maple can self-ult, so... Oh, yeah. See if he ends up going for it or if he just wants to reserve Delayed. resources right now. Still hovering multiple on the top side, which means Johnson is vulnerable. Targeted again, rooted by Yumi. One more slash does oh. it from Spika. They Solo avoids the disaster there of the Nautilus ult coming in. And now TSM. That gives TSM the read. They're here first, going to try to get this lock onto Johnson. The ult is good, and the exhaust here to follow. Solo teleporting in. It came up recently. Instinct with the kill onto Johnson. FlyQuest, Philip having to flash away. Takui's coming from the outskirts, looking for an additional angle. And then Maple popping his ultimate as well. Even in the center of the headset, Whoa! ultimatum is not enough right now. There's still one <laughs> down for FlyQuest. TSM <laughs> going for a speaker, still alive. He's got the cat on his back for a little bit of additional healing. <laughs> so he can stay in it that much more. And it'll be tested once again in this fight here. FlyQuest looking for the angle. Solo, the first one onto that Delete it. and gets immediately popped. Now, speak of the subject of the Hextech ultimatum. Some damage being dished out by Instinct, but Philip gets the kill credit. FlyQuest continue on the pursuit. Instinct is the biggest threat that TSM has. Can't quite connect with the charm. And since TSM actually didn't even get the Rift Herald after the last play, as we take a look at our Rocket Flip the Switch replay here, FlyQuest, they get back out for round number two of these team fights. And Aphromoo says, blow this mini Nar up. Mega Whoa. doesn't even come out within the knockup. Solo dies there, who's so close to transforming. But FlyQuest, surgical precision there. They annihilate him. And after the, the Nar is And the biggest things leading up to those are the summoner spells. There's no flash on Zeri this time around because he flashed out of the last attempt crucial summoners that won't be there next time. Oh, it disappeared? Ah. Uh, Eyeball into the ground. Bye bye. bye. You can't. You it, still it, get something. It changed, it changed so much. Yeah. yeah. Up oh, right here at the top, though. Solo the subject of some violence again. FlyQuest Ooh. slaying him oh. with the whole and around the mid lane. So imperative for them. Instinct trying to free fire Spika into the back. Cataclysm Bye. flashes out of his own Cataclysm as the double teleports come through for FlyQuest. The burn down onto Instinct. Shime very vulnerable at the slice for the double kill for Johnson. Too and much distance there. Maple does not get the flank off. Again, it's just the kill is too quick here. FlyQuest deleting Instinct and Chime. Well, I know where he's coming from, Maple going in, gets the W lockdown, the follow-up again, the charm and the burst to Kui. He is starting to get strong and you can't. Throwing down some wards, catches out Solo who was looking for the angle. Going over the wall, Solo looks for Takui. Spika gets fairly burned down by Johnson on the Sivir. 
But an easy opportunity to disengage solo flashing away here. Get Dragons them. up. Frontline got chunked out pretty heavily here. Mm. They do have the Yumi healing them up. So if uh, Yumi can go throw next heal onto Spica. One charm on to Maple. Follow up with the orb. Spica isolated by Philip for a moment's time. Cannot quite connect with these dredge. There's no Ariel, so from... there is a chance for TSM. Dragon circling into the pit. Yeah, Dragon, it's already being chunked down, and Spica's in the vicinity. Philip targeting Solo again. Maple in the center of it all. He's healing up in the ultimate. He hits that watch. Jose de Oro, he's circling over onto the dragon. Oh. See who gets it. All right, it's the Trundle putting in that work, and they burn the rest of TSM down. Um, you know, it was it was the biggest loss of game number one. Let's take another look at this attempt. Oh, Jose de Oro knocked up over the wall. The Zeri damage is pretty good. Solo, though. Ooh. Oh, look at the burst. Look at the follow-up. Look at FlyQuest with the purple in tow. They're able to get it all. They're able to get the ace here for FlyQuest. Feeling good about it in this game. Yes, they are. FlyQuest answer back emphatically. Aphromoo leading the charge on the Nautilus, but Takui making the difference. A shorter game than the first, a similar fashion, but falling to the FlyQuest side to tie up the series.